G'day everyone, welcome back to Nat's Knackers Yard. I'll be Nat, this will be my Knackers Yard and we are going to carry on going with the cylinder head and the repairs. Um, so this is the broken fins, partly my fault. Well, mostly my fault. Um, now I did say that I was really looking forward to getting my brazing rods. Well, I've got them. I've tried it and it didn't work. <laughs> um, so, the fundamental difference between this and one particular site that I won't give any free advertising for it, is that um, when things don't work I'll admit it um, uh, a couple of the guys were saying about um, an aluminium head dispelling too much heat and, and you're going to really struggle and I did and frankly it just made a mess um, so what I've ended up resorting to is filler so I've got metal fix I'm not particularly proud of it strengthened with an aluminium it's, it's cosmetic rather than anything else it will not dispel as much heat as the aluminium would have done but frankly it's two fins it was just one with a little dent as soon as I cleaned it all up you could see that there was a lot more um, to it um, tried to straighten it up and it snapped off so it's going to come off at some point so I've done you know bit by bit and I'll throw up some pictures here while I'm talking talking rubbish if you try and do this in one go it's just going to you know it's it's liquid when it comes down to it it's quite gloopy but it is still liquid um, so that was one, two, three, I think, maybe four uh, attempts slash coats. Um, I'm under no bones that I'm going to get this back and perfect now. It's probably going to need one more, but I need to uh, get all this lot back to something like flat before I do a, like a more minor fill, if you like. Um, and I've got you up here because I'll probably do it and, and fast forward you. Um, it's a good excuse to use my new rotary tool, um, which is, you know, L internet cheapo um, but it does have the wand which my previous one didn't I think trying to do it let me let me get it off trying to do it as is is just a little bit cumbersome um, so actually the wand is quite useful for this I've not really used it before but you can see I've had a quick go um, I've just been out with the missus and the kids it's a glorious bank holiday weekend um, uh, and we've just been uh, out for the day with the dog climbing stuff, building stuff, throwing stuff, eating stuff, brilliant. Um, so I'm now going to chill out in the way that I chill out, which is playing with bikes. Right, so I've got the old stone end on here. I don't know what end works best, but I'll just carry on going um, and I'll stick you on fast forward. Um, I've got headphones but that's more so that I can listen to an audio book while I'm doing this. <laughs> All right that seems to be the edge to use. Small enough to fit between the fins. Now I've got a decent enough basic shape it's a bit low on one point so I am going to need to give it another dose which but you know I knew I just wanted to get it you know somewhere close um, uh, so that I could get I mean I don't quite have a flat line there so it needs a little bit more building up but you know that's not as far as first stab's concerned that's not bad at all as far as I'm concerned uh, just need to give it another fill because there's a bit of a gap there and raise it up ever so slightly on the front back doesn't look too bad at all he says a little bit more fill that's fine Right, so let's do it from scratch on this one. So I'm going to go for height first. Turn me. Ooh. Try not to knock you over. Let's move this. Move my rotary tool. Slash not Dremel. Yeah. And move you. Try and get you in somewhere decent. Give you a bit of zoom. There we go. Right, 
and carry on. Right, so we're not far off there. Let me give you a decent look. So, it's nicely built up. It's a bit wibbly wobbly, so I do need a little bit more filler uh, to go on top. Let me zoom you back out so you can actually see what I'm talking about. There we go. I think this isn't far off. I just need to build up that top profile piece and fill in that gap there. But that's cool. I can do that and you can see because I realise I've jumped it here kind of halfway through. Got a bit of repair to do on that top one there next. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Right, so there we go. There's my isoprom. I'm just using the end of a bin can. Bin can? Beer can. Because um, I only need a tiny amount. And actually, being a nice domed surface, it keeps it in, uh, which is handy. I only need a tiny bit because I'm only going to dress really the top just to build up that edge slightly on both of those two. Um, and fill in that air gap under there. So, try not to get it everywhere. I'll use the proper spreader actually because I'm trying to get under something. It's not getting in. Get in, you bugger. Three bad. Yeah, Right, so that's one side done. that off to dry that's still got a freaking hole there minor gap God, I've enjoyed not commuting this week not hearing that over and over again. Mind the gap. Right. I'm putting a lot in for something that's never going to be seen. A lot of effort in something that's never going to be seen. Right. That'll do. Um, I always try and clean up as I go. I'm going to leave that to cure for about 20 minutes or so. Right, 20 minutes later, it's nice and tough. I just thought I'd try it on a flat file to try and get that flat. And 
it's easier with a long flat file to keep it flat rather than dipping into with a rotary, I think. Slight dent on that side. Let's have a look at the next one. Move you across. Whoop. Whoop. Right, it's not bad. I've got a tiny dent there that's irrelevant, but I want to do it properly. Let's mix up a tiny bit more and chuck that in. Right, and there we go, that's that last bit done. Now that has, you know, fundamentally disappeared. Uh, I've gone over it in, I couldn't get the sharp edge off, so I've gone over it with a, a bit of a, a bit of a sponge action. Um, still needs a tiny bit of tidying up. I've got a bit of a lip there. Let's see if I can get rid of that. I hadn't noticed that until the light changed just then. You know what I was saying? I wasn't enjoying this. I really enjoyed doing this. You could... I don't really want to catch an edge like that, though. You could spend hours doing this. And I nearly have, because I really quite enjoyed doing it. Um, considering it is such an insignificant part that no one's ever really going to notice, it's probably a complete waste of my time. But... I would notice and that's what's important there you go Bang. Um, so that's I say disappeared I mean the proof will be in the painting because um, that's what shows but let me see if I can find the bits that fell out There we go. I mean, that's effectively what I've replaced. Um, that one was in there, and that one was in there. I couldn't get them back in. I couldn't find a way of securing them back in. So I've replaced them with something that's good enough. Again, not perfect. I'm not going to sit and say, that's perfect. You'd never know. You would if you look close enough. But that'll do me. Right, um, that'll, speaking of that'll do me, that'll do me for another upload. Um, the proof will be in the painting. Now what I'm not going to do is paint on camera because um, I do a lot of that and it can get a bit samey. Um, so next time you'll see this be painted up and we'll have a look and see what it looks like. But um, it's going to take, <coughs> excuse me, it's going to take a fair amount of very careful masking. Um, so that I don't get, you know, the cylinders, the cylinder tops, don't get any paint down the cylinder, etc. Um, uh, uh, as ever, with most of these bits of projects, it's about prep. The execution is normally relatively simple, and I, I hate to sound like um, Dell from Dell Boy's Garage, but it is about the prep. The difference is I try and do it, um, whereas he talks about it a lot, and then does a hash job at it. Um, so what, that is a long job to mask this up. Oops, excuse me, I just kicked you while I'm trying to pack away. Um, that is a long job uh, and a dull job and something I can do sat down in front of the telly with a beer, which is precisely what I intend to do this evening in terms of masking it up. Um, so, that'll do me for another one. I'll love you and leave you uh, in this just amazing weather. Um, which probably won't last the full bank holiday. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, currently filming this on Friday, and it's just beautiful. A lovely day with the missus and kids, uh, and then pissing around with a bike. Never done this before. It seems to have worked out quite well. But we'll be able to tell once it's got some paint on it. But for the moment, that profile is... Oh, let me see if I can get you. That profile is pretty good, if anything. That one is a little bit high in the middle.
but it's never going to be seen from that angle. Let's have a look at the angle it's going to be viewed at. That's absolutely fine. Happy with that. Right, that'll do me for another one. Next time you see this, hopefully should have some paint on it. Cheers all, and I'll catch you later on. Ta-da. <laughs>